Hi friends, welcome to my channel today. Today I'm making Cora crown and I designed the pattern off of just looking at other crowns and I traced it off of a cracker box onto cardstock. I measured Cora's head to get the length and that's what I did, made the decision on the length of the paper here that I needed and then I just glued some scrapbook paper to glue the two pieces of cardstock together and added book paper and then cut that out and started with my collage of stuff. After the book paper, I made a little bit of glue and water mixture here because I ran out of Mod Podge. And I did a little bit of this tissue paper that was, I had a gift wrapped in it, um, yellow paper, and I just put all over the book paper. As well as I had um, some Happy Mail given to me with this Mandela on it, and it was stamped out on some kind of parchment paper, which was kind of like a sandwich paper or something. It was a little bit of a a tanny brown color and it really looked cool and I added that down as well. Here I'm using a stencil I made with hot glue and I'm using painting in the triangles just to make a little interest, um, a little texture. I didn't want to go too crazy with texture because I had to cut this out for today, but I thought a little bit of, of uh, paint in this homemade um, stencil would be great, just perfect. taking an old stamp from uh, Stampin' Up that's had around forever and archival ink and I'm just stamping up some kind of little viney, floral-y looking things that are just enough in the distance that you can see it. Now I am inking up my edges after I cut that all up just to make it look more antique-y and I don't know, I like the look of it with the gold. With the leftover pieces, I punched out some flowers with, uh, I think, an E. I don't know what brand stamp it is, actually, but this small little flowers. But I don't know where that piece of video went. Maybe I didn't push play, record. But and I just inked up all those flowers, and I had one for um, a little spot here on this part of the crown, and then I had some down on the band part of the crown. And I just inked those up. And that was the leftover from the leftover paper that I cut out between the crown pieces. Now here I am adding some ultra fine glitter paint and just adding some texture to it. And it's kind of cleary but gold cool at the same time. I thought it was really cool. Of course this part here I am gluing the cardstock that I picked out with the green nice tint to it color um, for the back of my crown and I just roll that out 
um, to try to get that to stick really, really, really well. I flip it over and I also add just some glue to my edges with my paintbrush and keep rolling it out. I just glue a piece of scrapbook paper to uh, my crown to make it the ends meet, make my little crown. Then I just add um, some paint bottles to shape my crowns, the leaf parts there, to shape them all rounded. And what I do is I added um, some elastic bands around the paint bottle and the crown to keep the shape and let it sit for a while. Meanwhile, I am playing with my flowers. I'm adding some metallic um, rose color to the petals, as well as um, a little bit of gold glitter that I have here, and which is craft twinkles. And in the center, I add a little bit of green um, metallic paint. And I do put pearls over top, but I think on around the edges, the green still shows, and I think that was really um, looks unique and I like the way it just looks like I have a little bit of patina in the um, crevices of the jewel. just inking up the edges once more because I added more paint I want to make sure the edges really pop and then, and then after this I add my flat back pearls to make my little flower jewels
time to take the elastics off and then I have my crowns all the shape that I want and then I cut that out and start um, fixing up the edging of my crown. So after cutting the crown again, because I had the cardstock or the uh, scrapbook paper on the back, I noticed there was a white edge all the way around, so I decided to ink the edges again. I ended up not getting the coverage I wanted, so I grabbed some glue or gold paint and got my edges with that. Now it's all about just adding all the jewels and the little flowers and the pieces that I made and making it look really cute. Um, Cora really loved it. I think um, it turned out pretty good for my first crown. I wanted to have something that was wearable for Cora so I didn't put too much stuff on it. And at the bottom I wanted to put a little bit of a lip, but I was thinking about putting a hot glue or something at the end, but I just thought I'd just put a thicker amount of paint at the bottom. And this is how it looks. I hope you guys enjoyed this. The next time I make one of these, I think I'm going to really go out crazy with it. But like I said, I wanted Cora to be able to wear it and enjoy it and things not fall apart on it and it to be comfortable for her. Thanks guys for watching. Tell me what you think in the comments below and I will see you soon. Bye bye.